Alright, this is Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 16. We're going to continue using floor plans to understand and show our knowledge of area. And in this slide, this problem, we have Jeremy, and Jeremy is planning and designs his own dream playground on grid paper. So his new playground, in fact, I'm going to zoom in on this. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. His new playground will cover the area of 72 square units and the chart shows how much space he gives for each piece of equipment um, or area so then use the information in the chart to draw and label one possible way that Jeremy can plan his playground so the idea is we have this big old huge grassy area right here. This whole area is his playground and we can see that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine units going uh, this direction. And we can see that it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units going in this direction. Nine times eight is 72. So that's where they get the fact that it is 72 square units. So this whole area <coughs> is 72 square units. And now what we're going to do is we're going to place each of these four items into our playground area. So Man, you know, if, if ever, all your students, teachers, by the way, if all your students turn in the same uh, floor plan or the same plan, that means they cheated and they copied off of each other because there is probably literally an infinite number of solutions here. Uh, so please encourage them to be creative and solve this. We don't want them all to turn in the same project. Uh, especially, we don't want them to turn, it, turn in whatever I create here because I'm just showing a sample of what students might turn in. So let's start with the basketball court. It's 10 square units. And, uh, oh, let's just put it up here. Here's my basketball, and I can see that it's 10 units. One, because I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or another way is because it's two by five. All right, and there's my basketball court. So I'm going to call that B, C. And, oh, let's do the jungle gym. And we'll do the jungle gym in green. Got to do it in green. And it's nine square units. So I'll put it way down here. Here's where I'll put the jungle gym. Get it far away from the basketball court. And so I'll call that the jungle gym. Oh, and the slide is six square units. Um, and, oh, let's make that a two by three. So let's do this right there. There's my two by three. And I'll label that with an S for slide. And then our soccer area has got to be 24 square units. And uh, let's do that, I don't know, let's do it in, uh, I don't know, red. We'll do it, no, we already have a red. Let's do it in purple. Okay, so we've got purple. And so our soccer area is 24 square units. So there's a couple of choices we could do. We could do 3 by 8 because that's 24, or we could do 4 by 6, because that's 24. So we have some choices. Um, I'll do a 4 by 6, why not? So I will line it up right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, there's my 4. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there is my 6. So here is my 24 square units, and I'm going to call that the SA for soccer area. And then what is all this extra stuff? I don't know what all the extra stuff is. Maybe maybe all this stuff is grass. All right, so this is all grass right here. And uh, that is uh, the playground that I have created for Jeremy. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 4, Lesson 16. Uh, using what we know about area, and in this case, we created a floor plan using for a, a, a playground.